Hello Taurus and welcome to your November 2016 reading. I hope that everybody's doing really well and uh, I can't believe we're so close to the end of the year. Um, next month we'll be doing the year at a glance readings as well. So uh, I know there's a lot, a lot to think about, a lot to plan for. Novembers tend to be a very busy month for all of us. Uh, because it's slightly different, because there's a lot of a lot of things coming to an end. Uh, what I wanted to do this month was shift around the channeled information and make it more about, uh, I'm, I'm calling it a power word, um, because I like to bring attention to the, the truth that our thoughts have power and our communication, ha you know, the way we speak, the words we choose, have even more of an impact, a lasting impact. Um, and anyway, so words are sort of in and of themselves very powerful. But your power word this month really is more of a literal power where if you choose to sort of pull and listen to that channeled information, that power, it's going to make, basically bring you on a much better trajectory or a much more solid trajectory than you're on. And uh, this word came to me before I was reading for you this month. I had a, The first two came to me as I was just starting to plan what I was doing this month and I was very certain that, that faith should come through for you. And uh, the interesting thing with faith is that it, it's not sort of like a tangible thing. It's something that you have to have in the absence of something. I mean, I guess if I have to define it, that's one thing that I could say, is it's an internal knowing, um, an assurance, a connection that sort of transcends logic. Okay, that's, that's not the dictionary definition, but that's sort of what it means to me. And it, it also means it's sort of like an anchor. When you feel like you're floating and you don't know what to do, you have to have faith in something. So this doesn't necessarily even have to mean like faith in a divinity, God, or religion. What it can mean is faith in your ability to persevere, faith in people around you to support you, faith that today is just one day and tomorrow could be completely different. Maybe positive, maybe negative, but you always have to have faith for the capacity for change, for evolution, etc. So, um, so many different connotations with that, but what I'm going to try to do to pull it down to uh, just one or two things to focus on is I want you to try to, f to find something that brings you a sense of security and that you can project or connect to whenever you're feeling a little bit lost. So if you're lacking that faith in yourself, do a little bit of soul searching and figure out what it means to you to have faith in something or uh, it can be a faith in your dream, a faith in yourself. Now, if you're feeling pretty secure, if you're pretty, you know, just comfortable with your life, then all of the words this month can be extended to those around us because the message is coming to you for a reason. So there may be those around you that um, are lacking faith or surprisingly for some of us, because we, we may be humble and think that this could not happen. But for, for you, there could be someone who they kind of connect to you as their, their beacon of hope, their beacon of faith. Um, so help others have that if they need it, find it if they're looking for it, and for yourself, um, just, just grow stronger within whatever your, um, sort of your faith is, okay? But anyway, now let's take a look at your cards. And I should say for those of you that are returning viewers to this channel, I want to say thank you for coming every month. For those that are new, welcome. The way I do this, this deck is so large, i got to shuffle it one more time. Um, the way I normally do my readings is I'll do a typical Celtic cross spread, and then after I do that, I exp expand it out to look at health, wealth, love, and destiny. But as you can tell, I also um, intersperse a couple of additional messages along the way. So the first one you saw, that was the channeled information. This month it's about uh, power words, and uh, using that word even in your day-to-day -day speech could bring power to you. Um, the other thing that I will pull, which is right after I look at the cross here, is a catalyst. And the catalyst is really what's going to spark opportunity, connect maybe up to that power word that I pulled, and also give me some insight into the overall theme of this month. So it's a very important card. I can, I can already see that love is, is really coming through loud and clear for you guys. Um, it's right here in the hopes and fears area. So um, we got the lovers, which is great. All right, let me go ahead and pull that catalyst card that I just discussed. And we'll see what is coming through on that. All right, so we have this very interesting card that says the cave. And the cave is about 
isolation and um, but not not the kind that's going to be sort of like eternal or difficult it what it really means is pulling back from those around you that may want to maybe old friends loved ones family fe feeling a need to sort of protect yourself and I do feel it, it, it really does play into faith because um, when you're in these moments of thinking I don't know how am I gonna do this or how am I gonna pull through it's faith that pulls you through um, others that may have faith in you or your faith in yourself your faith in something bigger so um, meditation and and finding something to really help help you deal with fear frustration doubt that's really what you need to work on this month um, it will help you with your your ability to succeed and bring in new things all right so love these cards they are enormous though <laughs> all right your center card is three of cups reversed so right off the bat I'm, I mentioned that I saw love coming through um, we have in your environment card the lovers whenever I get the three of cups it's a card of having difficulty perhaps in in long-term commitment to a partner so sometimes when you are still dating this card comes if one partner particularly since it was reversed it comes if one partner is ready to get married get engaged settle down and the other person is still sort of not sure if that's what they want in their life maybe they want to continue casually dating maybe they're seeing someone and you don't know about it there's a lot of things that can happen with the three of cups reverse so uh, with your personal relationships what you really want to try to suss out is uh, if the other person is on the same page as you you may be the one that's ready or in some cases you may be the one that isn't ready to commit and if that's the case um, I, open discussion is really essential with the Nine of Swords. Um, this is a drama card. <laughs> Whenever it comes through, it, if you pull it a little closer, it, you can see that things aren't actually as bad as the, the character in these cards thinks. Usually it's a man or a woman, typically, typically a woman, but uh, it can be either. And then there's usually a bunch of swords behind that person. And the um, thing here is that they're actually not coming in on the person. It's stressful things that they have to address and deal with in their life but it's not something that is going to be as difficult as they think and the sooner they sort of um, approach and, and speak about whatever it is that's pulling them back, that's making them feel sort of like really stressed and really, um, really sort of pulling inward, they're gonna be, it's like a big relief. And the interesting thing is the crowning card is the nine, I'm sorry, the ace of swords, which makes it a 10. And so whenever I see that completion of a suit, you have to come out and speak your truth. Um, and it is a card of coming out of the sadness, coming out of this and feeling strong and, and it's an active card. So I do feel like for you, this is your opportunity to just come out and say what's on your mind and don't be afraid, but don't be critical. It's just speaking your truth. When we look around this a little bit, um, one of the things that could be uh, really sort of challenging for you or for your partner particularly if it's a love situation is uh, fear of it's usually this card comes up for me for regret or wondering if you should have fought harder etc you have to trust your intuition on this one and go in the direction that it tells you if you're saying fight fight for what you want then fight if you're feeling like the other person's turned their back on you this is your chance to say hey I'm still here are you ready for me? Um, you know, or do you want to walk away from this? For those of you that are, that are single right now, and none of this seems to apply to relationship status, I'll give you an alternative read. And no, again, in a moment, we'll look at love when we pull out your extended forecast. This can mean um, not doing as much with your friends and family as you've done before, or not deriving as much joy from that. Whenever Three of Cups is in reverse, it, it really does tie up to that uh, cave card that I pulled, which is just like, you almost feel relieved if people canceled on you because you just want to be alone. You just want some time to, to sort of either just exist within your emotions. So some people may call that sulking. I'll just say absorbing the moment. Sometimes we have to cry. Sometimes we have to be alone. Sometimes we want to be depressed. But this card is, is saying, don't go too deep within that. It's not necessary, um, but it's okay because no emotion is an invalid one. But, uh, but there is a danger if you stay too long within that emotion for it to start to take, take over. 
Um, and then this is also, this can show some, some challenges at work, some challenges in your environment. You may even need to sort of put out more effort than your body or your will is wanting you to do right now. So, you know, your job may be very tough, your family may be very challenging, and sometimes you're just thinking, I don't know if I can keep doing this. Two of Pentacles in reverse is a balance card. And when it's re uh, reversed, it's out of balance. And in particular, finances can be tricky with the Two of Pentacles. So um, finances and anything that's considered a resource, which also includes time. So I really want you to look at how much time you're putting at work, how your sleep schedule is lately. If some of these friends are trying to sort of like pull you too often into going out or social engagements, you have to have priorities and say, you know what, I'm trying to get this, this, and this done. I can come out tonight, but not tomorrow or whatever. So speak your mind, but it is going to involve you probably saying some things that either take a little bit extra to, to pull out because you're either shy or you just don't want to say it, or for some of you, it's just very difficult to get out. Um, I love that we have the Prince of Swords here, though, in your near future. So whenever I see a knight, what it's telling me, uh, which is, I believe, what that equates to, um, what this is telling me is, got to go for it. Um, I said this required action. All knight cards are very active. That's why you see someone riding it on a horse, typically. So it's up to you to take the initiative. And for someone who might need, this can also show possible conflict this month. Um, when I'm looking at the ego situation right now, it's the Five of Pentacles. And for this particular one, it's interesting, there's a couple of like um, dogs or a dog and a rabbit or something in the, yeah, it's dog and a rabbit. What you're, going, what you're going to have to do is not let everything sort of pass you by. Um, so in regards to relationships, if something matters, go for it. Um, and in regards to work, if there's something that you need to really achieve, talk about, or um, go over with your boss or employer, you have to you have to pull it out and put it on the table um, all right so many of you when, when I have the lady card in reverse which is the Empress this has to do with control authority we were just talking about that with work it also has to do with family mothers in particular and mothers and their children so what you want to focus on uh, if you're part of a larger family if you have a larger family yourself, it's, it's connecting enough and feeling like you're part of the equation. So for mothers out there, it's how to let go a little bit, how to um, basically delegate some of the responsibilities to other people. And for those of you that are trying to get pregnant, this month is probably, it, it's going, <laughs> the beginning, the first two to three weeks, I'm not seeing a lot of luck for that. I do see some opportunity towards the end of the month. Whenever I see um, a card that shows fertility, pregnancy, and it's reversed, it just usually is telling me, put your, put your energy elsewhere. And some of the blocks for you have to do with um, emotional things rather than biology. And a lot of times, a woman's biology is, is connected with emotion. So if you're, if you're trying and you're stressed, then what you want to do is try to find things that are going to alleviate the stress, make you feel better. Um, it could be as simple as just you know, doing something you love, eating something you love, or um, just talking to your partner about this so that they understand why you're not quite feeling yourself. Now, with all that being said, um, it is a great month to meet people. We have the lovers in reverse, which is showing me that it may take longer than you want to, to get to um, the intimate parts of a relationship. So if you've just started dating someone, this, the reversal of this card is saying, be patient really get to know the person before you decide to commit on a deeper level or you decide to make things uh, more intimate than they are already. Uh, it doesn't mean that you can't have great connections, great physical connections this month. It just shows me that um, you want to get to know people and you really want to make sure that monogamy or exclusivity is something you talk about. Um, because I sense for many of you, there may be someone in your life that um, if, you're, if you're meeting someone new this month in particular, that is either more in an open type relationship or isn't ready for the level of commitment that you want. So this card just says, move forward with caution. And because I was also connecting that with pregnancy for some of you, um, what this means is that it's going to just take a little bit more work um, for many of you. I see the, the end of the month looking really great. And uh, Princess of Cups is, is fantastic for 
if you're in a new relationship and you can work through some of those wrinkles that we were talking about, like what you're looking for, if you're ready for commitment, what level of commitment you're looking for, then you feel comfortable, you feel confident, and things start to flow a lot easier. And again, for pregnancy, I see the end of the month looking a lot better for the two of you trying to get pregnant. Um, for money matters this month, one thing I wanna mention, yeah, we had the two of pentacles in reverse. So this is a month to avoid major purchases, you really want to be focusing on getting to understand what your budget is, what the limitations of your budget are, and if your spending habits can be curbed at all, um, I think that will help you. Uh, it would probably not be the best month for job seeking, um, but if you were looking for jobs, the second week of the month looks best from what I'm looking at here. Okay. Uh, the, oh, one last thing. I mean, I think that you could also be careful with communications uh, with like work and close friends. Try to avoid gossip. That's the other thing because the gossip will come back. You, people will hear what you're saying because we have the three of cups and then the nine of uh, swords are right on top of it. So this is gossip and this is why did I say that? Um, and this can also show falling out. So I can avoid. you can avoid that by sort of heeding that advice this month. It's not the greatest time to... I mean, gossip is never good, but uh, this month in particular, I'm seeing it being a little challenging. All right. So let's expand your forecast now, and we'll look first at health. And your health card this month is about possibly going and getting um, some advice from someone. Whenever I pull up the leadership card, um, this is really about... First of all, taking initiative with it. Uh, so if, 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 you, if you've been thinking of joining a fitness uh, program, boot camp, dance class, you know, there's so many different things that you can do to find fitness. This is saying you probably will do better in something that is led by someone, a spinning class even. Um, so find something where there's a group and then there's a, a leader that's pulling it all together um, because passive uh, sort of physical activity hasn't really been working for some of you. This also could show that many of you are thinking of pursuing something like that, deciding that, you know what, maybe I want to make it part of my life purpose to really help people have more direction. So either way, it's good, but you're going to have to be more active and probably go towards something that has a very strong leader that, that motivates you um, and makes you feel safe and makes you feel like, all right, this is time. Let's get it done. All right, let's take a look at your wealth and career. So for wealth, we pulled faith in the process. I do love it when there's a connection with the, the channeled information. So this card is basically saying that it will take some time. It's really, I mean, like faith is right there. <laughs> um, and so, yes, don't, don't despair, basically. Have faith and also look for un, unexpected messages, unexpected signs. Uh, so paying attention to little things for, you know, I'm trying to think of a good example for you. I mean, I have a friend that uh, anytime they see like a, a bird wing, it's sort of uh, on the ground. It's, it's a, a hint that they're headed, like not literally in the right direction, but what they're doing in their life at that point is really pointing in the right direction. Like it's confirmation from the universe, like don't give up, that things are good. So for you, it could be something else. It could be a color, it could be a license plate, it could be something that you see on a friend's post that look for a sign that is going to be sort of um, a, quite literally a direction saying like go here or don't go here uh, sometimes you might literally see graffiti on the wall that's saying like go away or stop and you know pay attention rarely are these things coincidences it's a lot like pulling cards our attention focuses on something a beacon for a reason so i want you to be really aware uh, and around the fifth of the month, that I think that uh, first week of the month, first five days, there'll be a clear sign pointing you in the right direction. And if you catch this after the month, after that first week, that's okay. Just pay attention to your intuition throughout this month, and you're going to get the feedback that you need on these things. All right, so let's now take a look at love and relationships. Should be interesting since we saw the lover's card come in. And for those of you that are looking for new love, I got the Prince of Swords here, which younger sort of uh, air sign that comes in. So that could be uh, a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. And this is someone who probably would come straight to you and speak their mind. So 
basically we got some great encouragement here with a uh, message from Arch Archangel Michael saying that if you're looking to improve your relationship, you can do it. If you're looking for new love, you can also find that. And if you just want to be independent, since Michael is really a, a car, an archangel of sort of like self-sufficiency, then just be okay with being single. It's not, there's nothing wrong with your present sort of status. So you can do whatever you want to do and be whoever you want to be. That's just confirmation there. But um, yeah, I am seeing a connection here with a strong air sign and just the only caution that I'm getting is either not being completely ready to commit, maybe having an entanglement with an ex. Um, the Empress in reverse could be an ex-spouse. So just be very, and usually with the reversal, someone who's a little manipulative. So there's someone in the picture that's making it harder for them to commit, but I see eventual uh, opportunity there, so don't, don't give up on that. So we looked at health, wealth, love. Let's take a look now at your destiny card. And for Destiny, we got the world in a different tarot deck. And um, what I love about this one is this is showing that what you need to sort of focus on is elevating your thought process, um, pulling yourself above what everybody else is thinking. And sometimes that feels very lonely. I understand that. Uh, I, had, I had an old um, boss once that told me that, you know, as you get further on your path, there's not as many people to sort of give you the confirmation that you need. And what this is saying is, it's time for you to sort of work your own magic. You'll notice she has, uh, it's almost like she's uh, pushing out her own uh, ability to manifest, basically. So for you, what you wanna focus on is not all of the pressure, not all of the eyes that are in coming in on you, it's more like, what am I doing this for? What's the purpose? If you align to your, your path, if you have faith in your dream to pull it back to your original channeled power word or, or message this month, other people will be drawn to that. It's an almost indescribable feeling, but when you see a leader that is in control, uh, that just has a clear vision, you're drawn to that, that confidence that they have. And that makes you feel sort of like compelled to listen, to compelled to pay attention. So cultivate that within yourself and get to a point in your life where you're very certain on what the next step is and other people will follow suit. All right, let's, let's uh, go ahead and sum everything up since that was a lot to take in. Uh, your channel information again is to have faith or to help others have faith. We went in a lot of detail on what that means, so I'll let you review that if you need to, but basically, Find something to anchor you down a little bit and, and give you a sense of stability. This month, relationships can be a little tricky, um, especially as we look at making time for relationships, uh, having someone new come in that may or may not be completely free to date so the timing could be off, possibly having someone in your life that is looking for love outside of the relationship, or that if you're trying to connect and uh, Engage, get an engagement or a proposal out there that the timing's off a little bit. Uh, but the positive stuff this month is you have everything at your fingertips. You can be the one that can make change. This is a good month to start new projects. We didn't really talk about that. But if you're looking for a new job, if you're looking for um, the thing I would say, it's probably not about advancement at a present job. It's probably about finding a new job, but that is a potential this month. You need to start to get out there and, and apply and talk to people outside of your current office and see what, what opportunities exist. Budgeting will be very important. To, uh, budgeting time, budgeting money, budgeting energy, and watching out for people that are trying to pull you into their sort of situations. There could be a little bit of manipulation here with this Empress card, uh, but I don't feel like it's something that's going to be long lasting since it's reversed. Physical relationships, intimacy will sort of hit a nice peak towards the end of the month, but, bet but bef between now and then, the first three weeks will definitely be a little bit more work in either making time to connect on a physical level with your partner, or again, you could just, it could be a lot more difficult than you think to be intimate with someone. So I would push that off until the end of the month if you can, uh, but I ultimately see you ending on a really good note. Love looks solid. Um, your health situation this month looks okay, by the way, too. Uh, I think it is just a matter of dealing with some of those things, some of the skeletons in the closet here that might be causing you fear. And uh, remember, you're not isolated unless you want to be. 
Uh, your faith is going to pull you through that. Look for physical activities that uh, are run with a group setting, a really strong leader that you connect with that's going to motivate you. Pay attention to the signs this month, particularly for your financial situation. There should be really clear indications of if you're on the right path. Faith came through loud and clear on that one. Um, health, wealth, love. This is love. So with love, it's all about understanding that your dreams are attainable. Your hopes and fears are, are basically what you make them. So if you're single, enjoy it. If you want to be with someone, then make it happen. And if you want to fix something, make it happen. But you're the agent of change this month, not the other person. The world card's a really big card to end on for your destiny. The other thing that this shows me for many of you is this could be a month where you're thinking of, we talked about changing careers. It could be about travel and it could also be about relocation. Um, this card often comes up when someone's going to move cross country or across the state or it's usually a big move. So um, be prepared for that, think about it and know that although a lot of people may be weighing in on it, you're the one that matters, okay? So I feel like that's gonna come to a resolution in December as I looked at what looked like holly around it for me that indicates um, Christmas time for me, so around the end of the month. Okay, I hope this was helpful. If you ever wanna have more of a one-on-one -on -one reading, I will post the link in the corning, uh, corner rather, and you can reach out to me and uh, look at rates and availability. Also, if you just want to stay in touch, obviously the easiest way is just to click subscribe because then once a month you'll get an indication on your feed of when new things come in. But for convenience sake, I also offer a newsletter uh, and I will send out a newsletter the first of every month or uh, usually if there's something notable that comes in the middle of the month, maybe there's meditation or some sort of news that I think will be worthwhile, but I, I rarely send more than one or two a month. Uh, because I like to respect privacy and your inbox. Uh, I don't want to spam you. And finally, it, I just want to say thank you. You know, you guys have been really supportive here. So uh, joining me here, supporting on Facebook, Instagram, and all the social networks, it's been really, really great to get to know everyone. So please keep up the likes, the subscribes, and all the great comments because it, it shows me that you're connecting with this, that this makes a difference, and, uh, and it means a lot to me. So thank you. Finally, uh, if there's, if for some of you that uh, would like to donate and give back a little bit, I'll put a button at the end because that would be very helpful, but it's op absolutely your option and it's optional. So that's all for this month. I just want to say thanks. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you again in December. All right. Have a great one. Thanks. Bye-bye.